Hello everyone. Welcome back to our Gate in Data Science and Artificial Intelligence course. This is lecture number three for Artificial Intelligence Labs. So in the previous lecture, we have discussed about introduction to a search problem, various key terminologies in it. See? And we have also discussed what are the different types of search method. That is uninformed search, informed search, adversarial search, which are part of our Gate syllabus. So we have discussed that. We have seen the introduction to that particular search methods. But in this lecture, this is lecture number three, we are going to discuss on DFS, that is depth first search. So it is a technique search technique using uninformed search. Now let us try to revise what we have discussed in the last lecture about the uninformed search. So what is uninformed search? So uninformed search is basically a search algorithm which operates without any specific knowledge about the particular problem, right? So we don't have any other information of a particular problem. Only I know, okay, this is my initial state. This is my final state. I don't know whether how to reach that particular state and like how far it is from my uh, any other intermediate state. I don't have any information about it, right? That's why it is also call, called as blind search algorithm, right? That is what uninformed search is. Now there are different techniques used in uninformed search. Let us see. So first one is breadth first search, then we have depth first search, then uniform cost search, then depth limited search, and then we have iterative deepening depth first search. So in this lecture, we are going to focus on depth first search. Okay, then, then we'll try to explore other techniques one by one. So what is depth first search first? Now what is DFS? So let us try to understand with the help of one example. So basically DFS is depth first search, right? Depth first search. Now let us try to take one example. Suppose we have this particular node A. This is my node B. I can go from uh, node A to node B or node C or from C to D to E, right? Like this. Now this is my suppose my initial state, right? And then I want to go this particular node that is D. It is my goal state. Right. So this is uninformed search method. I don't have any other information about uh, this particular node. Okay. I only know I want to reach this particular state. That's it. I don't know whether it is put on the right hand side or left hand side of C. I don't have any, any such information. Right. Then how to solve this particular problem? So in this case, we follow depth first search. So in depth first search, what happens? This algorithm works on stack data structure. That is basically a stack data structure. So that basically a last in first out principle so stack data structure works on last in first out principle okay and this in and in the case of depth first search we try to explore one node and go in particular depth okay so we explore a node in a vertical way that is depth wise depth wise in the case of breadth first search that is bfs we explore the each nodes at each level that is horizontal that is Breadth wise, right? So, in the case of DFS, we try to explore the node as far as possible. So, we go in depth till, till the end state is reached or we got the goal state. Okay? So, that's what depth, uh, depth first search is. But this DFS works on stack data structure that is last in first order principle. So, first let us discuss what is stack data structure, right? Now, uh, I will I will discuss this in a simpler way because we are not focusing on a data structured part. We'll only see what is required for, to understand this particular concept. Okay. Now let us consider one container. We have one container here and we have some different blocks. Say for example, A, block A, block B, block C, block D. Right. Now I want to put this block in, in this particular container. So first I will put A. I want to put it in alphabetically order. Then I can put B, then I can put C, right? Now my this tag is full, right? Because I have only I can only store three blocks at a particular time. So my stack gets full. I don't have any, enough space to uh, put D block here, right? Now what if suppose I want to explore this particular block? Okay, I want to get some information which is available inside this particular block, right? Then how to access that? Right? Because it is present at the bottom of the container right then in this case what we do we follow last in first out principle so whatever the block or whatever the element enter the last in the particular stack that will be taken 
out first. So la last one to enter was C. So we'll take C block out first. Then before C, B was entered, right? B entered the stack. So we need to take out B then. After that, only we can take out the block and then we can explore that, right? Whichever the block which is entered last in the particular container, that block will be taken out first. That is what last in first. So I hope you understand this simple example, right? So basically, whoever entered the last, it will taken out first. That's it. Simple as that. Don't uh, like we are not discussing in detail. Now, what is stack? Stack is basically a linear data structure that follows last in first sort principle. That's it. that is enough for us. It resembles a physical stack item or any block like a stack of plates that what we have discussed where you can add or remove items from the top. Okay. The stack has two main operations. The first one is push. So add an element to the top of the stack. We need to, we can add the element from the top of the stack and pop means remove the top element from the stack. The top element is the one that was added most recently. So C was the last element which entered the stack. So we need to take him out first. So stack are often utilized as a vertical structure, right? So that's what the stack is. So I hope you understand the concept of stack and what is the last in first out principle. So that is what we needed to understand the concept, right? So we are not uh, going in detail of it. Now let us try to apply that particular principle in the case of DFS. Okay, so let us take one example. Suppose uh, same example for graph travels. I have node A. I can go to node. B from node A and C, then from C to D, then from D to E, and from E to F. And for example, in this direction also, I can go from uh, B to G or B to H, right? So this is basically my graph. And for example, this is my initial state. It is given to me. This is my initial state, and this D is my goal state, right? Goal state, or you can say my end state. So I want to find out the element in a particular tree or I want to reach this particular place in say node from A, right? So in the case of DFS, what will happen? We'll try to explore each node as far as possible vertically, right? That is vertically. And then we'll see, try to compare, okay, this is my particular goal set or not. This is D or not, no. Then we'll try to explore E. Whether it is E or whether it is D or not, no. Then I will try to explore F. Whether it is D or not, no. Then I will track back. I will go back to the last unvisited, unexplored node. Then I will uh, start from there. So in this way, we follow DFS. Now let us try to understand with the help of example that is last in first out. Suppose we have this particular stack. Okay. Now I have A as an initial state. Now from A, I can go to B or C first, right? So either I can go to B, I can enter the block. B or in this case node B or C, right? So I'm entering the node B first and then C. We can do either way also. I can enter the node C first and then node B. Okay. It's up to you which which sequence you want to follow, right? So what I am following, whichever the node is present on the left hand side, that will be entered first. Okay. So that's what uh, B is entered. So I will follow this particular sequence. Now once I started my exploration once i have once i reached the initial states a now i can go to b or c now which node i should go now for that we follow this stack okay that is first in that is last in first or principle so whichever the node which enter the last i will explore i will take it out i will take that out then i will explore this particular node all right so i have taken this c out and then i am exploring this particular c node now i am Verifying whether this C is my D or not. It is not D. It is, this is not my goal state, right? Then from C, I can either go to D or I can go to E. Now, in this case, if we take this out, so our stack will become like this, right? That will be B. Because I have taken C out. Because I have taken C out, right? Now, from C, I can go to D on E also, right? So, we can add two more nodes here, that is D. So whatever the element is present on the left hand side, we are following that it will enter the first, right? So I will add D and E first. Now if we follow last in first out principle from C, we need to ex we need to go to this particular node E because this node is entered last in the particular stack. So I will I need to take this E out and I will explore this particular E. Now whether this my E is this state or not, 
whether it is D or not, no, this is not my goal state, right? Then I will again explore the further node. So in this case, I will remove this E, then I will, I can have only F. So if I just remove this E, then I will enter the F, right? I will enter the F. Right? Now I will see, okay, this is my goal state or not, goal state or not, it is not, right? So I will try to compare with this element with particular my goal state. If it is my goal state, then my algorithm will stop here. And otherwise, we, if we don't have any other nodes to explore, it will backtrack like this, okay? We are going to backtrack like this. So we don't have any other nodes to explore, so we can backtrack, or if we have some uh, nodes like this till Z, then it will go in the same way, okay, in the in the same direction, as far as, as deep as possible. That is what depth first search. So, so we are going more deeper and deeper in a particular part. We are not focusing on other part right here. So we are going more and more deeper in a particular direction. That is what depth first search is. But here in this case, we don't have any other node to explore after F, right? So what I will do, I will, I already explore the node F, so I will take it out. So F is out. Right now, which element is present in the stack after F D? Because D was the one who entered last in the stack, right? Before F. So we need to backtrack the particular node and we need to go to this particular node D. Okay. So now D is my goal state, right? So I will take this out D from the stack and I will see whether D is my goal state or not. If D is my goal state, then I will stop search here. I found my particular required state. So this is how this depth first search will work. Okay. Say for example, I want to find out G. Okay. G is my goal state. Then in this case, what will happen? D is not my goal state, right? And we don't have any other further node to explore also. Then I cannot add any other node here. Then I will again backtrack to C, then A. Then whichever the element is present in the particular stack. So after taking D out, I have only B left in my stack, right? So I need to take out B first now. I will go back to C, then A, then I will start exploring the B node. Okay, I have taken this B node, I will exploring this particular B node. Now, whether it is my final state or not, whether it's, it is G or not, no. Okay, then from B, I can either go to G or H, right? Now, in this case, what will happen? I can either go to G or H. So, I am adding G and H in my particular stack, right? So, H enter the last, so I, it will take an out. So let us say edge is taken out and explored. So in this way, it is not my uh, goal state. So I will again take this G out and try to see okay, whether it is my goal state or not. So in this way, what will happen in the depth first search, we'll try to explore each and every node in a particular direction, in a particular path and see when and compare whether it is my final node or not or goal state or not, right? So we are going more deeper. Right? So we are going deeper in a particular path in a particular part. And how we are achieving that? By following last in first order principle, by following stack data structure. That's how we are able to travel to a particular direction as deeper as possible, right? So this example, I hope you understand this particular example, right? Now there are a few things about the depth first search, right? It may or may not give a particular solution or required solution to us, right? Because Suppose if there is some infinite elements, it's an infinite search space is there till Z, or if we have some uh, some loop in this side, right, in this way, in like this way. Suppose if we have loop like this in this particular branch, there may be possibility it will get stuck in a particular loop or infinite loop. So in that in that case, we will not find our our goal state, which is G in this case. So it does not guarantee a solution, right? So may or may not. View solution, view solution, and does not guarantee optimal solution, right? An optimal solution, not guaranteed, right? In this case, so I hope you understand this particular uh, example. Uh, try to solve this particular example by using this stack algorithm, by using this stack data structure. You can take same example and whatever I have discussed, just follow that, okay? Right, so you will understand in a better way if you do it by your own. Okay, so that's what about the DFS is. Okay, so whatever we have discussed uh, in the previous slide that is given here. So DFS is uninformed search algorithm. 
which means it doesn't use any specific knowledge about the particular problem or domain you can say right now it will start at a initial state and explodes as deeply as possible along one branch before backtracking right so that's what we have discussed now what is the process of dfs begin at the initial state explore a path as far as possible until a dead end or goal state is reached right so if you see this example we started from a then c then f then e then f right because this is my end state we don't have any other particular we don't have any particular node fix for then we are backtracking it right so that's what is mentioned here if a dead end is reached so f was dead end backtrack to a previous state with unexplored option right so we can get this information from a stack right repeat this process until the goal is found or all paths are explored so it may or may not give a required solution or if, we, if it is giving a solution so it may possible it will not be an optimal solution right so that's what we have discussed in dfs so so that's what we have discussed in dfs so we have discussed one example of graph traversal graph traversal okay so this example is common for uh, this tfs concept it can be used in ai also or while explaining uh data structure part also right so we are going to explore in so we are going to learn this in detail when we are going to discuss about python and data structure part okay but now this is one example which what we have discussed that is graph traversal now we'll discuss one more example that is maze okay so maze puzzle you must have seen so that we are going to discuss now uh, because this is the common example used by everyone on youtube so this example will help you to understand in a better way okay so that will be a visualized example so it will help you to understand in a better way okay thank you